ESPN the Magazine boxing analyst Michael Woods. Good afternoon, thanks for having me. They've loved him since about 2006, and you're going to see that on Saturday night. You're going to see that tonight because the joint is going to be full. 19,000 people are going to be in there, and 18,000 of them are going to be yelling for Cotto. They've loved him for a long time. I think they love him a little bit more because we got a situation here, the good guy versus the bad guy. And Margarito's wearing the black hat, and Miguel, humble and likable. Uh, he's every man in this fight. And 18,000 people in Madison Square Garden are going to want to see Cotto kick Margarito's ass. Yeah, and there's... The people in Youngstown have been fighting off the ropes for the last 25 years. They're looking for good news. And an undefeated fighter who is securing knockouts on his way up, that's good news. And they're reveling in it. What do you expect to see when he faces Claudie? I expect Pacquiao, who is an A-plus level fighter, doing what he does best, which is getting angles and using his speed against a B-plus level fighter who has shown to this point that he has a C-level resolve. Claudia has a tendency to fade down the stretch. I expect that to happen again, and I expect Pacquiao to drop him and stop him. And the reason that I believe that he's going to be the first man to stop Claudia is because Freddie Roach, his trainer, tells us so. Freddie and Manny are like Ali and Dundee of 2010. These guys are totally simpatico. And if Freddie says he's going to drop him and stop him, I believe Freddie. On July 6, boxing lost a legend. He wasn't a fighter, he was a writer. His name was George Kimball. He will long be remembered because he spoke truth to power. He afflicted the comfortable in a sport that needs it. For four decades, he covered over 400 world title fights, and he cared as much about the four round fighter as he did the Marvin Haglers and the Sugar Ray Leonards. He succumbed to cancer on July 6th. He was diagnosed in 2005 and given five months or so to live. He lived for six years. As I look over at Press Row, there's an empty seat and it will not be filled. It will not be replaced because George Kimball was one of a kind. It's a total flip of the coin. Really? Under this big bald head, I don't have a crystal <laughs> ball, man. I'm going to say it's a 50-50 shot. I like uh, Mayweather uh, by a slight margin. It would be the biggest fight that boxing has seen since probably in 20 years or so. It's all in the lawyer's hands right now, and that scares me a little bit. I want it to happen. Will it to happen? Nobody knows. Michael, that's a beautiful bald head you have. Thank you, sir. <laughs> I appreciate it.